not a considerable part he's played too. On comes Percy. He has 90 minutes to play, and I wonder if he's aware that he also has a record of having scored on match of the day twice this season. Makes it. Well, that's an awkward one. Really struck that by Mel Sterling. And Stevenson had to adjust his position. Smith has come forward. Lions on the near post. Pearson there as well. Out by Hamilton. Stephen, it ran kindly for him. Taylor going off to the right. Bailey coming across the cover. Donachy and Donovan coming inside. Still Taylor. This is a chance for him and it's over the top. Well, he had the opportunity inside the last five minutes of the match as he had inside the first five minutes of the match when he fell from 12 yards on the penalty spot. Really good ball played to him by Trevor Stephen. And he made a lot of it got himself into a shooting position and then got under the ball. Donovan and Hamilton a bit close to each other. Oh well one by Hamilton. Taylor wants it forward. Peels for offside, he was never. Hamilton. Donachy away by Lyons. And they have to try again next Tuesday evening at Hillsborough. 1 1, the final outcome. The goal scored by Bannister and Cassidy. The two managers walking off side by side at the end of a really stirring cup tie home advantage just giving Burnley the edge there in that all-action game but Wednesday fought resolutely to earn the replay and they really need a semi-final for their fans to keep their faith and support going and I must say Burnley are a mystery their form in the cup is consistently very good contrasting with such a poor record in the league they're like Jekyll and Hyde and whether they stay up or not will depend on which half takes over for the rest of the league season but come what may they're still not yet Wednesday's Gary Bannister, who it was feared might have sustained a depressed fracture of the cheek yesterday. That doesn't now appear to be the case, but he will have an X-ray and is obviously very doubtful for the replay. Definitely out is Wednesday captain Mick Lyons, who starts a suspension, and Peter Shirtliff is the most likely replacement. Burnley are expected to bring Derek Scott back into their team. He's completed a two-match suspension, and yesterday's goalscorer, Tommy Cassidy, could be the man to step down.